So guys, what's going on? Danny Garcia dominates um, Ivan Redcatch in a 12-round decision win. Um, listen, Dan Danny Garcia, he's a, he's a good fighter. Very good fighter. You know, he, he dominated this guy, hitting him with a lot of shots, uh, beating him up in, in certain rounds. It was a comfortable, convincing win. The guy wasn't really on his level. Danny Garcia is a kind of guy that never really gets the credit he deserves. He's probably one of the most underrated fighters in the game. And here's why. Because there's nothing special about Danny Garcia. He doesn't. When you look at him, he hasn't got great hand speed. He hasn't got great foot movement. But he's very good at everything. And his skills are underrated as well. And actually, I think he sh those skills have been sharpened up as he's got older. Also... One thing that we can say about Danny Garcia that we probably all unanimously agree, we all agree on, is this is guy is one of the toughest guys that I've ever seen. Like, this guy's got a granite chin. And when I mean a granite chin, like, it's like hitting a brick wall. His chin is one of the best chins in the game. Like, honestly, he's, his chin is up there with Canelo and Golovkins. He is, he's a tough, tough guy. Tough, and he's a kind of guy, he'll keep coming all night. Even though he, there might be a guy more skillful than him. Even though there may be a guy better, you know, with a better better technique, better skills. He'll keep coming all night. And he he, he looks to wear you down. He did it with Thurman. He, and let's not forget the fights that he lost against Porter, Thurman. They were close fights. They were close fights. Very close fights. I remember when I first saw Danny Garcia when he beat Amir Khan. He was a massive underdog in that fight. And the way the fight was going up until he caught Khan, he was getting battered. But that fight to me kind of sums up Danny Garcia. He came up against a guy that was naturally more gifted than he was, quicker than he was, had better speed, foot movement better than he was. But Danny Garcia was waiting for that opportunity. He was going to keep plugging all night long. And that opportunity came in the third round it could have come in the fifth sixth seventh but Dan, one one thing I can say about Danny Garcia he would have kept plugging away all night long I felt like Khan in, uh, on that day had the wrong game plan but Danny Garcia that fight summed up Danny Garcia to me his whole career where this is one tough guy this is one tough guy he's an underrated guy a lot of people say the punches that he throws are lucky they're not because how how many times can you be lucky? The guys the guys are very good fighter. One of the most underrated fighters in the game. One of the most underrated guys in the game. I don't think he's the most skillful guy out there. I don't. But I think the guys you have to listen, we can't you, you here's what I why I say. Look at what this guy's achieved in the game. He's probably got one of the best resumes. He beat Amir Khan when Amir Khan was Amir Khan. Legitimately beat him when it was hard to beat that Amir Khan. That wasn't an easy Amir Khan to beat. That was a very, very tough fight for anyone in, in Amir's prime. And Garcia got the win. Right? Then he beat he beat Lamont he beat Lamont Peterson again in a close fight. Uh he beat He beat so many guys, Guerrero, um Matisse. You know, the guy was he's Garcia's a machine. Like he's got like one of the most durable guys in the game. Underrated skills, decent punch power. I don't think his punch power is great, um, that great, you know. I think especially that he moved up to welterweight. He's not really been able to hurt or stun or, you know, get many knockouts. So I do think he's struggling a little bit, hurting these guys at, at the welterweight limit. They're, they're bigger, stronger guys. But, and he's talking about moving up to 154. And I'm like, hey, that's a dangerous division for him to be moving up in. Because they've got some world-class fighters in that division. But... Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think, guys, about Danny Garcia's win against even Radcatch. He dominated. Uh, what do you want to see him do next? I'll make a separate video about what I th what may happen next for Danny Garcia. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. So, guys, what's going on? Danny Garcia calls out Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao. Those are fights that I, w I wouldn't mind seeing. Manny Pacquiao's looking for an opponent. Danny Garcia probably deserves a shot, if I'm honest. I think Danny Garcia is a popular fighter. I do think Danny Garcia is a fighter that's a hard fight for anyone. I don't think he's... I do think Manny would... I would favour Manny Pacquiao in that fight. Uh, I think 
I think Danny Garcia's punching power is good. I think he has decent punching power, but I don't think it's anything that Manny hasn't come across before. Uh, and does Danny Garcia hit harder than Keith Thurman? I'm not sure. Uh, Manny took Keith the, all of Keith Thurman's shots, so um, I don't... <sighs> I don't see Danny Garcia winning that fight, but he's a live underdog for sure. He's a live underdog against Manny Pacquiao. He's also a live underdog against Errol Spence. And the fact that Errol Spence has now got that accident, had that had the injuries that he's had, you know, is would Errol Spence come back to a fight against Danny Garcia right away? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because that would be a tough fight and a dangerous fight. So I think Danny Garcia is probably going to look to get the Errol Spence fight. But Errol Spence... Is he going to look for a tune-up? Uh, Errol Spence said that he'd be looking to come back in the summer. We haven't heard anything about from the Errol Spence cap. It's only January, so we're not going to hear anything if he's going to look into fight in the summer. Uh, I think a more more realistic fight for Danny Garcia is the Pacquiao fight, but we don't know what Pacquiao's doing. We don't know whether Pacquiao has any drive to fight guys like Danny Garcia or he just wants the big fights with Conor McGregor Floyd. Is that, what, is that why Manny Pacquiao's not announcing any opponent or not looking to fight anyone because he's looking for those big fights this year against McGregor or Floyd and he's waiting if he can get the big big fight with them. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what they're waiting on, if I'm totally honest. Um but it's interesting, it's intriguing. It's, I want I wanna obviously see what ha what happens with all of this welterweight division because it's one of the most uh talented divisions in boxing right now. Um, I think we're all waiting to see, you know, who fights who. Uh, I think a Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman rematch isn't a bad fight. Uh, although I would prefer Keith Thurman to fight other guys, uh, I don't think it's. I don't think they're bad fights for him. So there's some big, big fights. Listen, there's some big, big fights that I think can be can be made. Uh, I think the Gar Danny Garcia is definitely looking for for big fights now, and a Pacquiao fight and a Spence fight makes a lot of sense for him. Makes a lot of sense. What do you guys think? Do you think Danny Garcia will get fights with Errol Spence or Manny Pacquiao? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.